Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Kim, 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 Kim. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? You messing with Kanye West kids and who child, Chloe kids. And you think you're going to get a pass for doing the act that you did? It's called social media to stand your ass up about having them three babies on the side railing. Meaning if they started to get bumpy weather or bumpy waves under them and one of them just toss over there, toss they sail through them balls and into that ocean, girl, you would be going to jail, child. You you, you wouldn't even get a, 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 what do you call it, a trial jury. You wouldn't even get that far. They'll be ready to sanction your behind and put you deep up under the jailhouse. But yes, the sun.com. Wrote up a story. Her name is Christina Bear. And it was all about not being safe with those girls. But hell, I want to ask you just a sidebar. What is this little girl doing with, uh, what is your little niece or this your daughter, honey, doing with a snake? What is she doing with a snake? I don't understand, Kim. What the hell you got going over there? Girl, did Pete Davidson do you in that bad? They got you not watching your kids, allegedly. But we would think that you would know to put baby life jackets on them folks. Okay? Them little three people right there. Them three individual people. will put your ass in jail quick, fast, and hurry if anything come up with them. California will be up your ass about them kids going over there railing. Because you don't know what might happen. I don't know the possibility of that being in the ocean and something happens like bad weather. You would hope to have some sense to take them down uh, in the galley part of the boat. But if you didn't, I don't know. I'm with I'm with them, though. The girls, all three of those girls should have had a life vest on, whether they wanted it on or not. But I'm just trying to figure out, were you just thinking about Pete that much, girl, that you forgot to do your due diligence and put them on life jackets because that that railing over there behind that first one what if the boat hit something and the kids had to go they you know they'll get slipped or they'll slip and fall and they slide right on through that crack girl i was like you might well just go and jump in the ocean too and and, and uh let let the winds and the waves do what they needed to do because anything happened to kanye west kids and we don't want to talk about your mama She'll be on your ass, girl, about why were you doing something so stupid to put those girls in jeopardy. And the media caught up with it, and they are weighing your behind now. But anyway, we go with the story. It was titled, Not Safe. Kim Kardashian slammed for dangerous parenting of daughter Chicago. Four, nieces dream. Six, true. Four, on a boat trip. Mm-hmm. Like, did you have on a vest? Honey, did you have on a vest? Because while you sitting up there taking pictures, you could have had somebody else take the picture with you with the kids, okay? And they should have had on their life jackets, okay? Every time you get on a boat, I don't care if it's a dinghy. If you're going out there in some deep waters uh, over two feet, okay, everybody need to have on life jackets. Because anything can come. Anything can come up just as quick. And it'll be gone just as quick. And them girls will be gone off that boat. Okay? And you wouldn't have a leg to stand on, Cam. You would not have a leg to stand on, girl. Because that's piss poor parenting. They right. That's parenting 101. Once they hit the uh, once they hit the deck, life jackets. Okay? Life jackets. Anyway, Cam41 recently posted a uh, photo to Instagram of the three children on a boating trip. Okay, beautiful kids, beautiful kids. I don't know what they're looking at. Were they looking at some whales or some dolphins swimming out there? 
But anyway, all three adorable girls are looking out on crystal blue waters from the deck of a boat. The daughters of Kim and Chloe and Rob are all on board with the same fashion sense wearing tie-dye pink and purple bathing suits. All right. Mm. Kim captured, captioned the photo, BFFAE, best friends forever and ever. Well, if you don't put no life jackets on them, they sure ain't going to be uh, best friends forever and ever. Because they be singing their praises up with the Lord, okay? The spirits are going back with the Lord. And it would be devastation here on earth because they would be wearing your behind out, Kim. Ooh, and you always talking about Kanye providing unsafe behavior and unsafe environments when he had the girls. And look at your ass, okay? Anyway, Chloe responded with six white hearts while Rob posted hearts and hug emojis. While fans thought the next generation of the Kardashian clan looked adorable they grew concerned for their safety as they should as they should <clears throat> many took their concerns to social media forums slamming kim for not putting any life jackets on the girls one fan said i may be in the minority here but i wish the parents would practice safety measures these children are on a boat with no life jacket, even when they're in a car sometimes they are not correctly secured it doesn't take but a minute or a few extra minutes to do so. Okay. Another respondent said, put a life jacket on those babies, please. I'm sorry, but as a kid who grew up on boats, you would never have a little kid like this on deck without flotation. Doesn't matter if the calm, if it's calm in the Caribbean. That's right, because a surge can come up under that boat real quick, fast, in a hurry. And then what, the, what you going to do? Because you can't save all three of them at one time. You can't save all three of them at one time, Kim. Piss poor parenting. Piss poor parenting. You ain't got nothing but the foolishness, fuckery, fraudulent, fakery type of mentality out there. They enjoying themselves. They, they ain't thinking about dying. They ain't thinking about going over the board. They ain't thinking about nothing. They just looking at the crystals, uh, blue, sea green water, and probably looking at some fish or something, okay? But we as viewers of them, we trying to see, you putting people in danger, girl. You putting people in danger. And is that snake? Is that a garden snake? Child? Is that a poisonous snake? What the hell you got that with the baby girl with the snake for? Girl, I, I can't take it. I can't take it. Ooh, but anyway, a third said, oh, I grew up on boats, too, but I never wore a life jacket. To be fair, though, we were in Australia, not sure what the requir requirements were, and not on a giant yacht. But then, she should have kept, her, her, that third comment should have kept their mouth closed then, huh? So she don't know what the rules and regulations is in her own uh, country that she's at. Is that not right? Okay, that's what I'm just saying. Let's see some people crazy in these comments, voicing their opinions, and they know. Anytime, I don't care if you're in a dinghy, you're in a rowboat, you just need to have on some flotation devices. Just You might catch a cramp, somebody might, uh, other waters might get bumpy, and you might go under. What you gonna do when it catch you by surprise? Whoo, child. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, but now I put a life jacket on my dog. Now, you're going to put a life jacket on a dog, but you ain't going to put a life jacket on a, a, a baby. That's some, that's some messed up stuff. Okay, that's some messed up. The dog need one. You need one. And a child need one. All right. But now I put a life jacket on my dog when we go on a boat. And we'll probably put one on a kid if I had one. What do you mean probably? You should have. If you're going to put it on a dog. And I know the dogs and your family members, they act like your children. I understand that, but you ain't going to put it on no child. Damn, that's fucked up. Anyway, moving back on to the article. It says another added that this is not the first time Kim did not practice safety measures. They wrote, like the one episode where Chloe is driving in the snow and the car spins out with Kim and North in the back seat. Kim kept saying she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. First, why? Secondly, I would quickly buckle my seatbelt edit i know you mean the kids are not properly secured but even the adults 
That's right. Can't even have no life jacket. She ain't have no uh, seat belt when she's rolling around in the car, whether she's driving or not driving. Whether she in the front seat or in the back seat. Hell, in the trunk. Okay? She could be ass, she could be ass out in the trunk and still wouldn't be uh, strapping herself down. Okay? Ah, oh, dangerous parenting. There have been multiple instances where fans have slammed the Kardashians. Dangerous parenting um, techniques. Okay? From Kim, using cot bumpers with some uh, possibly rising or risking seeds to Courtney not strapping her kids in on a vintage car ride. And Chloe putting True in danger with the name on her school bag. Kylie recently came on the fire for a manicure. She and daughter Stormy got together. The reality... Uh, Star 24 shared a video of her and Stormy getting their nails done at a salon. Stormy opted for orange nails with tiny diamonds glued on the ends. Critics were less than impressed with Stormy nails, claiming a gem could potentially be harmful to the type. You got that right, because they always put stuff in their mouth. Kids are diabolical sometimes. They they risk risk takers. You know what I'm saying? You gotta always watch them two and three and four year olds. They always been into stuff. They can ain't know everything. Then next thing you know, they choking and you hollering, you panicking, and you don't know what to do. CPR or run out the door and get in the car and, and, and um t go to the nearest hospital. Okay, you, you just freak out when your child do something they ain't got no business doing. But then they are gonna blame it on the parent because the parent should have been doing a due diligence and watching it behinds okay but anyway going back to the article it said one wrote sarcastically on reddit let me just glue some choking hazards on my toddler's hand others called out kylie un unhygienic long nails and claimed it would make things difficult for the reality star to look after her six month old son who health concerns the criticism comes as fans have become Afraid of Kim's health, noticing her shrinking waistline. Yep, Kim saw herself to death. She was saw herself to death to get that pretty hourglass like figure, which I'm like, girl, that is really not a true figure silhouette, okay? It's not true, but you live in that false plastic world, so I guess you would try in and everything to acquire that look. But anyway, what an argument article that was just my opinion going back to the article it says kim in chicago modeled black bodysuits during a recent photo shoot promoting the new yeezy gap sunglasses on instagram and in a sweet snapshot the skims founder coated with her little girl and held her in her arms when they both wore the same reflective sunglasses instead of talking about the tender moment fans found themselves discussing kim's weight followers noticed that kim is keeping up with the Kardashians alarm seems so skinny that the little one appeared to be able to fully wrap her arms around her. One critic said, love the queen, but you're so thin. Back in May, the Sun exclusively revealed that Kim's family is concerned that the TV personality is losing too much weight and is barely sleeping. An insider claimed that Kim packed a schedule with the filming of the family's reality show, studying to become a lawyer, looking out the four children as a single mother, and her bi-coastal romance with Saturday Night Live star Pete Davidson, 28, has taken its toll. Child, ain't nothing taking your toll because, hey, you can afford a nanny if you don't think you can handle them four by yourself, which I don't know why not, because your businesses are just that, your businesses. You don't have to clock in or come around when someone summons you you come when you get damn ready you know what i'm saying the money's stacking you don't need to be seen there okay you be doing whatever you need to do far as just taking care of your children making sure they eat properly and make sure they get educated well that's what you should have been doing but anyway that's my sidebar not in the article uh, we go on back to the article. It says the source claimed that she's constantly jet lagged. She's finding it hard to fit workout ends. I think Kim really struggling but won't admit. Okay. Well, I know she was trying to get in that uh, probably size 2 dress that Marilyn Monroe had worn. 
uh, she had actually won a replica. She didn't have the real thing. I think she um they, she was just gonna try to try it on, take a quick a quick picture, and then take it off. But you know, wearing it around around people at the parties that they were giving at that time, no, she couldn't do that. So she no, she didn't mess up anything. They weren't going to let her mess up anything trying to put that size 4 or 6 body into a 0 to 2 dress. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, but that's all I got for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Do you think Kim had put those children in danger by not providing good safety flotation devices as far as vests on the children? She probably didn't have one on herself. Uh, that's another infraction. We should sanction for doing this a ridiculous thing she's taking the beauty and the scenery over being safety caution and letting them girls wear their uh vests okay but it just is what it is get down in the comments let me know how you thought about this situation and was it fair to blame kim for her ignorance of not putting or providing vests for the, her uh, children as well as her nieces all right and i'll see you next video